I want you to look at two people and say, leave it alone. The word that I'm going to share with you tonight is prophetic in nature. The word that I'm going to share with you tonight is prophetic in nature. I believe in my spirit that it is a response to somebody's prayer, asking God, what do I need to do about this situation in my life right now? What do I need to do about that circumstance in my life that seems to be going out of control and crazy? What do I do about that person who doesn't understand me and doesn't like me? What do I do about that test or that trial in my life at this moment? And the Lord sent me all the way from Dallas, Texas, to tell you to kick it in cruise, relax, take it easy, don't sweat it, lay back. The battle is not yours. It belongs to God. God's already got you covered. This is going to be the easiest victory you have ever gotten in your entire life. You're not going to have to do anything. Just leave it alone. Look at somebody say, leave it alone. Look at somebody and say, leave it alone. Look at somebody and say, leave it alone. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, let your spirit saturate this place. Send the kind of anointing that lets preaching be powerful and yet simplistic. Change us tonight. Rearrange us. Move, great God that you are. We are your people. We stand in your house. We await your word. Have your way in this place. In Jesus' name, come on, take all of your wind and shout amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Whew. That just sounds good. Standing up and sitting down sound like thunder. If I get in trouble and I'm not preaching good, just stand up and sit down. It'll sound like, yeah. There you go. Don't y'all start? Suddenly there was a sound from heaven, like a mighty rushing wind. The ground began to tremble. Oh, that's good. You all got to teach them how to do that in Texas. That's pretty cool. Now I forgot what I was going to preach. I'm going to go home next Sunday and go. And they're going to go. <laughs> Amen. Thank you very much. one describe God when we are limited to language alone what word would we use to define him how can we describe the invisible infinite all powerful everlasting eternal immutable God we are reduced to metaphors and similes and weak comparisons God said, my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways above your ways. I was thinking when I was flying into Austria, I was way up there. I was up there a long time. It is a long ways from Dallas, Texas to get to Melbourne, Australia. I flew so long I started gathering feathers. And I was way up in the air. I couldn't tell whether there was land under me or sea under me or anything under me. And I, so I just, I just, I just uh, went to sleep. I just thought, wherever I am, Lord, I'm in your hands. I don't worry on the plane. I can't fly. I can't do nothing. I just, just rest and turn it over to the Lord. But I know that wherever I was, according to the little thing, I was, you know, like maybe 50,000, 60,000 feet up in the air 
way up in the air. God said, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. He said, I'm working in dimensions that you can't even see. I'm moving stuff on another level in your life. And even when nothing is happening down here, I'm doing wonderful stuff up there because I'm God and besides me there is no other. 